Hey everyone, hope you can hear me. Uh, I'm in Barcelona. I uh, have a gorgeous day. It's like 68 degrees here, so I've shed the uh, Green Bay Packers hat and gloves and jackets and just back in t-shirt and shades. Uh, behind me here, I I'm, I'm in an area called La Rumbla. I'm actually the tip of it, which is a big kind of market area for tourists and for um, tourists and for locals. Give you a quick look over here. Here's where you kind of you got the marina. People sort of walking up and down. You got boats, you got water. You saw it on the French Riviera. Behind me now, this is kind of cool. That is the famous uh, Christopher Columbus Monument. Okay, as you remember, it was the Spanish king who had commissioned for Columbus to uh, find uh, find the New World, whatever, and, and uh, he sure did. So, uh, anyway, Barcelona is stunning. I'm actually thinking right now that I don't have any, enough days here because uh, here's kind of what's happening. So. You know, I think a lot of Americans know Barcelona from the 92 Olympics, um, and I'm sure people smarter than me knew that, that, that what it was really known for was its architecture, uh, namely by its favorite son, Anton Gaudi, or Antony Gaudi. Um, the Gaudi stuff is incredible, and, and so I'm, 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 uh, you know, I've gotten to see a little bit today. I went to Park Well today, which was is free and, and amazing, and then his other stuff, it's not too bad. It costs anywhere from 16 euro to maybe 25 euro to see everything. He's got a couple of houses worth seeing and then of course uh, Sagrada Familia which is this amazing church which they think it's going to take another 50 years to finish. They've been working on it forever. Uh, but it's stunning. And so tomorrow I'm going to try and do that. What I did not account for was the lines. I mean the lines to get into these places is insane. So every time I get there it's like I could spend two to three hours if I wanted to be going, you know, looking, uh, standing in line and waiting but uh, I think I'm going to try and get up early tomorrow and do it anyway. So. There's also a, a museum for Picasso here. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about Gaudi, but not without some Gaudi-ish behind me, because if you've never seen this guy's architecture, you won't believe it. So uh, I'll cover more of that tomorrow. Uh, today, I'm going to try and see the rest of La Rambla, maybe catch a cathedral, and I might try and get to the, the Picasso Museum if I can. Otherwise, I'd say today's just been more Barcelona exploratory, because uh, it's a big city, you know, uh, 1.5 million. They've got a good subway system, but the, the welders are apparently on strike right now, which is causing some slowdowns. Um, but this is this is a good city. This would be probably a visit a second time city. I'm here at the right time of year. This is actually their nice time to be here because uh, in the summer it's so humid. Right now it's just perfect, and it's going to be perfect for several days. So, so I'm just once again really lucking out on the weather. Um, but tomorrow I'll show you some of Gaudi stuff. I'll have some pictures, some photos. Uh, I am going to see at least Casa Mila and Sag Sagrada Familia. Uh, as you can tell, my Spanish is a little rusty, but I, I would say I am also enjoying being able to. Uh, practice the Spanish again with people here, and, and, and as is the case in any country, if you're able to at least try the, the uh, native tongue, they appreciate it. And this is really, this one maybe a, a little bit of Italian, a little bit of French, but this is the one I can actually talk reasonably well in, so that's been nice. Uh, anyway, that's it for now. I'm going to go walk La Rambla, maybe uh, buy something from the market, see if I can get into a church, and maybe the, the uh, Picasso Museum today, and then tomorrow I'll get you all some good-looking Gaudi stuff. Hope you're all doing well. Talk to you tomorrow.